What's the difference between a good person and a bad person? Do you ever think about this question? It's very simple, actually. The difference between a good person and a bad person is that a good person makes good choices and a bad person makes bad choices, choices that are bad. In fact, the essence of a human being is our choice. Do you know that human beings are the only thing that exists in the world, in the universe, that has free will, that has the ability to make moral choices? I mean, animals can decide what they want to eat or what they don't want to eat, or if they want to attack or not attack, but we don't become morally outraged when we read a story in National Geographic about an animal on the jungle or on the safari that attacked another animal because animals don't have a moral side. They don't have a godly soul. Now, I know a lot of people love their pets very much and think that they may have a godly soul, but I have to tell you they don't. They, dogs are wonderful, but they don't have a godly soul. Only a human being has a godly soul. And you know what? There's something else called angels or malachim in Hebrew that are spiritual forces, and they don't have an animal side. They only have the spiritual side. They're purely spiritual, and as a result, they also don't have free will. They can't choose between good and evil because there's nothing inside of them that's pulling them towards negativity. Only human beings. That's the essence of what it means to be a human being, is to be a chooser. A human being is a bocher in Hebrew. It's a chooser. That's what we are. We make choices. And we are the sum of the choices that we make at any given moment. Now, this applies to all areas of our lives. If, just to give you an example, sometimes we may act in a bad way. We may act with anger or we may react in, 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 with, with criticism. And we'll say that the reason that we did that is because he said this or she said this or they did this. And as a result, I got angry. So Viktor Frankl, the great um, writer, psychologist, Holocaust survivor, he wrote a book called Man's Search for Meaning, very well-known person. He wrote, I'm gonna read you what he wrote, it's a quote. He said, between stimulus and response, there is a space. In that space is our power to choose our response. In our response lies our growth and our freedom. I'll read it again. Between stimulus and response, something happens, a stimulus. Somebody says something that hurts my feelings or hurts my ego. That's the stimulus. Somebody leaves the dishes out or does something else unforgivable like forgets to turn the heat off at night or whatever, okay? That's the stimulus. And then the response is how I react to it. I get angry, I get frustrated, I lash out. In between, between stimulus and response, there's a space. In that space is our power to choose. We're gonna choose how are we going to respond to that stimulus. The stimulus did not cause the response. The stimulus created a choice within me, and now I have to choose. And in our response lies our growth and our freedom. How we choose, that's the only area that we're truly free. We don't set the parameters of our lives. We don't have a lot of control over what goes on in our lives. The only thing that we control is how we choose to respond, the choices that we make. And that's our growth, and that's who we are as human beings. Have a great day.